using this palette. And so like how my other Natasha done on the palettes, I did, I'm saying palettes funny. Did that sound funny? Palettes? Palettes? I feel like I was saying it funny, like palettes? Ah. Hey YouTube, welcome to TC10. Like my blush is looking crazy. And my under eyes are looking crazy. And I'm gonna tell you why after chapstick time. <laughs> Did a base face without my brows and waited for you guys to apply my chapstick. All right, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Well, first, the exciting news and why I'm here. Oh, I'm, so, I'm just like always scratching something. We have some stuff to open. For whatever reason, I think it was just like, like late night shopping. Like back in the day, for those of you who are over, I guess, 40, I'm 51. The infomercials, like when you were kids that would come on TV and it's like always, you know, somebody trying to sell you something at like 2 in the morning. And because you're sleepy, it looks good. And so I think I was in that mode. And I think that's why I got some of this stuff. I was looking at the Fenty banana powder again. I had not tried banana powder since back in the day, like 20 years ago probably, when Ben Nye came out with banana powder because it made me look ashy, whether it was on my face or under eye or whatever. So I'm like, I'm never gonna use banana powder. But for whatever reason, one of those late night things or something, I was like, you know what? Let me try the Fenty banana powder because I like their honey which I set my interior face with, and I like the nutmeg, which I do the perimeter of my face with, and also in the hollows of my cheeks, and then I bring it down around here. So I love the Fenty powder for that. For under eye, I normally just set with um, the Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder. No, this is not that container. And when that's used up, I do have, excuse me for talking and not being here. And when that's used up, I'm going to open up uh, my backup of the Hourglass Vel translucent setting powder. So those are my staple powders. So I just did a, a quick con concoction of my foundation, um, the primer and the beauty oil, and I put that on and I use the banana powder really lightly under my eyes. And not only that, when I set my face with the honey, I even put honey under here, but that banana is just so, so pale and ashy grayish on me that you can't even tell I put the honey on top of it. And I don't put honey under my eye because the tone of it makes my under eye discoloration look darker. And so I thought, well, that'll balance out the honey. It ain't balanced out the honey. And I even put a touch of honey on my chin. So that's why there's like this light patch right here. Like it, I, and I did, you know, kept sweeping it away, sweeping it away, sweeping it away. And it's not going anywhere. Look at that. And for those of you who use the Fenty powder, you know it doesn't go anywhere. But this is... So that's why I'm a mess in this video. That's why. So... <laughs> I don't know whether to try this over, over concealer. I was going to say over foundation. Over concealer to see if it does any different. But I'm thinking it's not gonna do anything different because the Ben Nye Banana Powder did the same thing. And I see people around my skin tone that use it and it looks nice and so I'm like, well, why on me does it look gray? It like brings out, I don't know. All right, let's move on. Something I'm really excited about. Thank you, O, you know who you are. <laughs> she mentioned <laughs> when I did my brush collection video, brush for beginners or something like that. She mentioned the number two Scott Barnes. I have no Scott Barnes brushes. So I ordered the 92 and she had the nerve to put a link with the picture in it. So I'm like, okay, that's like too tempting. And even though I was already saying I had too many brushes, not only did I purchase the, the blending brush, the number 62, I have the invoice here because on the brush, it just says the number, but it doesn't say what it is. So this is the eye blender, the number 62. I purchased, because I've never seen a brush shaped quite like this, the number 61, 
which is the eye fan. I feel like I'm yelling. I've never seen a brush shaped like this before. So I was intrigued by that. That's not any better than my forehead. Maybe I put it in front of something black. Ah, there we go. So, <laughs> and I had the nerve <laughs> to also get the 63 <laughs> brush, which is the eye winger. So it's not for eyeliner, but it's to just wing your shadow and to blend out your either your lid color or your um, crease color. And so, and I like the shape of this too, because it is shaped like a fan, but as you can see, it's also thin. So, <laughs> yeah, that, that uh, yeah, yeah. And so I was running out of brush space, so I ended up taking my Black Femme Doms of Atlanta mug to put brushes in because my other eye brush cases were like so full, I, I couldn't get to the brushes. All right, now let's get to some other stuff. And no, everything is not makeup. This is from Flip It Cat Company. I need to stay off Facebook at night because then you see those ads. And like I said, like those infomercials, everything looks good. But the purpose, and I'm, I should just be through this. I have not opened any of these boxes. These are Flip It Cats, and the purpose is, let me put these brushes somewhere. Sorry for the noise. And the purpose is to use on like lotion bottles, shampoo bottles, things where you can't squeeze out with the pump. It's always like a half inch short than the bottom of the container. And so the Flip It Cats are supposed to bring, this is a picture of a honey bottle as you can see. It stores upside down so that way you get all of the product out and it's a pop top. So you can just pop it, squeeze it, and then push it back up when you're done. And it comes in a, I'm gonna have a mess everywhere. It comes in a pack of six. These are reusable and dishwasher safe it says. This is a bag, it comes in and it comes in three different, Three. Yeah, three different sizes. So two large ones, two, I guess, medium, and two small. And everything is in here. And they come with the gaskets, which are the color part. And it is color-coded. Um, it says the orange. Oh, orange and red look the same to me. <laughs> the red are two large adapter gaskets. The, the orange are two medium adapters. And the yellow are two small adapters. And the stand that is on is called the stand. And so it says there's two. Yeah, okay. And so this is what it looks like. <laughs> so you take the lid off of your shampoo, ketchup, mustard, lotion, whatever. And they give you three different sizes so you can find the one that fits the container. And you put it on. You take the pump out, you put this on, and just store it upside down. And when you want to use it, you pop the top, you squeeze the bottle, get some out, and close it back. And then you just sit it. Instead of how you have to store stuff upside down, and then you have to flip it up right to open it, blah, 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 blah. You know, it sounded like a good idea. Um, yeah. These, I'm not sure what these are for. I think these might go on the gasket between your bottle and the gasket so that this doesn't get stripped. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know. Moving on. Oh, it also comes with, it says, hmm, bottle emptying kit. And then it has information in here about the adapters, the dispenser stands, which are um, those purple pieces. Is that even purple? I don't know about colors but so they give you information and I think I did say they're um, washable they're reusable and if you need more or want to give some to a friend we can do that on to the next box this box is from Shaffa Blends. Years ago, I was at a flea market. There were vendors out there and there was a Shaffa Blend table and blends because they sell spices and teas. So they blend their own stuff and they package it and sell it. I purchased something called Harissa Fire and it's three, I believe, different types of peppers in it. 
I like spicy foods, but I like spicy with flavor, and it is perfect. I put it on everything but fish. I like on beef, I put it in chili, I put it on chicken, put it on pork. I mean, it is so good. And so I went online to order some Harissa Fire. They didn't have it on their website. All of these websites I will post below. Um, but not too long ago, I placed it some orders for teas. But I'm just taking stuff out in the order that I'm taking it out the box. This is orange peel granules, and this is lemon peel granules. One of my aunts sent me um, a, fry, oh, a fryer, an air fryer cookbook, and some of the recipes say like orange zest or lemon zest. I'm like, I'm not zesting anything. So I can use lemon <laughs> peel granulated and the orange peel granulated instead of orange zest and lemon zest. And so that's why I got those. Is that the only spices? I don't know. And a tea, Mango Delight. Ooh, I do have a few of Shafa Blend's loose teas that I really liked, and that's what made me go on and buy some more. And it tells you the ingredients. The Mango Delight is apple, mango, orange, elderberry, rose hip, pineapple, and hibiscus. A sweet and light tart blend of dried fruits that makes a light red brew and a great cup of iced tea. And it's caffeine free. And this is four ounces. I love mango. This one is Stress Away. I purchased a smaller pack of the Stress Away to see if I liked it. And I've used all of it at this point. So this came at a perfect time. <laughs> and this is Tulsi, Ginger, and Lemongrass. That's the only things in here. And this is also caffeine free. The sweet aroma of honey basil, which is Tulsa, blends in with the citrus notes of lemongrass to bring you peace and relief from your daily troubles. The herbs help the body adapt to stressors, cleanse the body, and aid with digestion, which is the ginger. Hmm. Suitable for evening tea time. It's caffeine free. You can drink it any time, but I guess like to the end of the day, you want to drink tea, but you don't want to be caffeinated. But I love this. I really, I really like this. So what else is in here? Because something fell. Because these two came in a bag. This is four ounces. This is four ounces. This one is so much thicker. Maybe because this is completely loose where this has pieces of fruit in it. And this is only up to here where this one goes all the way up. But they both say four ounces. Because they came in a bag. I purchased two of their tins. Excuse the noise. <laughs> I purchased two of their tins to put the tea inside the tin so I don't have to go in and out of the bag. And also, of course, this is reusable. You wash it and I can reuse it with other stuff. There's two more things in here. Ooh, it's like Christmas. I forgot I got this. Ooh, it leaked. This is ginger green. Oh, it's caffeinated. Uh oh, this be <laughs> the ingredients: green tea, ginger root, sunflower petals, calendula petals, calendula petals. This beautiful medley of sencha green tea and ginger root brings fresh, fragrant, earthy, warming notes when brewed. Best enjoyed hot and goes well with lemon juice and honey. Great for digestion. The ginger and and colds. And for each one of these teas, even on the bags, excuse me, it tells you how much per eight ounce cup, what temperature to brew it at, brew it at, and how long to let it steep. I find that I'm I need to let these teas steep a little longer than they stay because I do like my tea a little bit stronger. And they did have this one available in how many ounces is this? I don't know. Is it? Wait a minute. Is it the same size as this one? Okay, so this is four ounces. And they had it available in a tin, so I went ahead and purchased it in a tin because I'm pretty sure I'm going to order this again because I like ginger. I don't like raw ginger, though. But I have ginger drops that someone let me try one. I'm like, oh, can you get me a bag of these? And she ordered it. And I do like different types of ginger teas. But just like raw, like ginger or um, jelly ginger or like fresh ginger, like just how some people just eat it like candy, like that's too strong for me. But in a tea or for seasonings, I love it. And I do like ginger beer. Not the one that burns your throat ginger beer. I like the DG brand ginger beer. 
another four ounce tin, turmeric ginger. I did buy a small bag of this, a sample bag. I really, 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 really liked it. And turmeric is good for you, for your body. And of course, ginger is good for you and your body. And so I went ahead and purchased a four ounce in this one. This has turmeric root, ginger root, cinnamon, hibiscus, orange peel, peppermint, and black pepper. This, the sharpness of turmeric, spice of ginger, and warmth of black pepper and cinnamon provide a brew that helps with reducing inflammation, which is the turmeric, joint pain, turmeric, blood pressure, turmeric, <laughs> as well as soothing digestion, ginger. <laughs> I love this, and I'm almost done with the sample that I bought, and I feel like I'm going to get some more because I know I'm going to continue to drink it. I'm going to speed through packing this up and putting this box on the floor so we can move on to the next one. All right, we got a little bag in here, and I do know what's in here because I can feel it and from where it says it came from. Two of <laughs> the Putty Elf Primers in clay. <laughs> if you see my other videos, I'm just on this quest right now <laughs> for a Putty Eye Primer from Elf that covers my discoloration. I have nothing at all on my lids right now. So you see how it's dark in here on both sides, actually. So it's even. <laughs> but I really like the Elf Putty Primer. The cream, you know, made my skin look ashy, but it covered this discoloration. The rose didn't color the discoloration. And so I'm hoping <laughs> that the tan, not the tan, the clay, I'm saying tan because my skin complexion is tan. But I'm thinking this will work. Well, I got a third eye. I see you. I see all of you. So we will see. And I'm so sure I really like it and that it'll do what I wanted to do. That I bought two. And I think they were six bucks. So I'm going to use that in a future video. Moving on to the next box. I'm going to speed through opening this stuff. I haven't even taken the tape off of any of this stuff. This stuff came yesterday. A few came yesterday. And a couple of them came today. When I placed my order for, from Sephora for the Fenty um, Mini and Banana, I wanted another Mini of the Nutmeg. And Mini because I only use it for the perimeter of my face in here and then under here. And the one I have expires at the end of March. This is February. Probably be uploaded in March. So I wanted to have another one, but they didn't have the Nutmeg in the store. And so this is the Sephora box. And so I purchased, well, of course I purchased it. I have it. <laughs> I had it delivered. And why am I thinking something's missing out in here? But it's not. I ordered something from Ulta that didn't come in yet. And so that's all that was in that box was the Nutmeg Mini Setting Powder by Fenty. And a sample of Innisfree Intensive Hydrating Serum with Green Tea Seed. And I don't even like how much is in here. Like where? Oh, it's down here at the bottom. So this is per per perforated. Perforated? Perfor it's PR. P-E-R, perforated. So this part comes off and the gel is in here, the serum, cream, whatever it said that I just read. <laughs> and a sample of SK2 Genoptics Aura Essence. If it has a fragrance, I ain't using it. I know I'm making faces. Let's move on. We have one more. And you guys are gonna be like, Really? I dropped it. Oh. Be right back. All right, so we're going to cut this open. I'm kind of excited for this at the same time, though I'm hoping I don't have buyer's remorse. And I'll explain why once I open it. Sorry if I shook. Natasha Denona. I need to stay off the internet and off of all social medias. At night so I'm opening this what I ordered was they package stuff really well so it's in this box and then this is in this box and then it's covered in cardboard and then it's in the box that it comes in do you guys know what this is yet New to me, but not new at all. And so uh, I'm always late with stuff. <sighs> I'm just like, why? I need to stay offline. And I'll tell you why. So this is what this looks like. And this is the eyeshadow palette 10. 
end. Oh, it's pretty. And it does have a mirror. And this has the name of the colors on it. And this is an all metallic and pearl um, palette. Why I'm hoping I don't have buyer's remorse is that I do not like applying shadows with my fingers. And for some of her pearls, I believe it is best with your fingers. But I do have Doriline here. And so if I need to just use Doriline as a, as a primer, then I'll just use that and then still use a brush. But these are the colors. The reason I purchased it, on the Natasha Denona site, it's on sale for $45. This is a $95 palette. $95 or $98? I believe $98. And this is on sale for $45. So I said, hell yeah! And, be <laughs> and even though I don't like all shimmer matte palettes, and I shouldn't say that because I do have two all shimmer Viseart palettes, but I also have two all matte Viseart palettes, and I have a few all matte Natasha Denona palettes. And I love them all. So I'm like, you know what? I need to just get over wanting everything all in one palette. And in watching videos with this palette, some of the metallics do blend kind of like a matte. And so I could maybe do like entire looks with just this palette, depending on which shades that I use. Uh, but for $45? Ah, oh, hell yeah. I said, I'll try it. And I'll just pair it with one of uh, my Viseart excuse me, matte palettes, or one of my Natasha Denona matte palettes. How about that? And because you needed $50 for free shipping, this was $45. They do that on purpose. I purchased one of her. <laughs> Not tested on animals. Paraben free, it says. What is this? Lip glaze. I had to keep turning it around. I don't have any lip products from Natasha Denona. The only things I've tried from her is the eyeshadow, and I pur purchased the shade... 05 which is plum do i want to do a try on real quick i do but i'm not because i want to just get through this video because i have a feeling it's kind of long so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a separate video using the elf putty eye primer in clay and using this palette and so like how my other natasha denona palettes i did i'm saying palettes funny did that sound funny palettes palettes I feel like I was saying it funny, like palettes. <sighs> I don't know, excuse me. Um, <laughs> I really do feel like I was saying that weird. Palettes, palette, palettes. But how my other Natasha Denona palettes, and even with my Viseart palettes, <laughs> and I'm still saying palettes. <laughs> I might do like a series of like four looks and sometimes I'll just put the videos together and say this is here, this is there. But I'm actually liking doing some tutorials because even though it seems like some people really don't like tutorials, some people do. And if they have the same palette, they can see what I'm doing. And because I have, you know, puffy eyes, somebody said that they wouldn't say they had hooded lids. They would say that they have, what the hell, how, how did she say it? She said, no, nah, okay. She said she didn't have hooded eyes, but she had hooded lids, meaning her eyelid, like her entire eye like this when somebody's looking straight that's a hooded eye you can't see any lid at all but her eye shape is similar to mine but she's not as puffy up here so she says that she has hooded lids because the this comes down and creates a slight hood over the lid i think it might be semantics but i liked it and so anyway sorry for that ramble welcome to the crazy <laughs> so i may just do that with this just do three or four different looks or as many as I need to do to use every shadow on a palette because I'm looking at it and you know I know I can put these three together I know I can put these together these can be you know in a corner highlight this can be in a corner highlight or brow bone um, I know I can pair the blue with the the purple with the blue I can pair the green with the gold and with this one and this with this so I'm seeing different looks with this and so I don't know how many looks I'm going to do, but I will do enough where I use every shade in this palette and also try not to duplicate the shades from look to look and also with the e.l.f. putty primer and clay. And if that doesn't work out, I'll just go back to uh, my old standby, which is the Fenty eyeshadow primer. 
and or try the Eden Urban Decay Primer, which is sitting here like begging me for attention. So that is it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed my unboxings of a variety of things. <laughs> and if you have any questions about anything, just let me know. And if you have this, I'm not even going to say that P word again because I just keep feeling like I'm sounding funny when I say it. <laughs> if you've done looks with it, <laughs> post them below and I'll check them out. And thank you for watching and you will see me in the next video.